Welcome back to the channel. My name is Abon. Welcome back to Local to Global with KV Mechelen on FM22. We are at our brand new club in Belgium and we are on the bottom of the table. We have our first games today. We're hosting Oostende at home and then we have an international break and then we're back with another game after that. So two games on camera today. We're going to try and get these guys off the bottom of the table and keep them in the division this season. If you're looking forward to the adventure with our new club, then drop a like down below and leave comments. Uh, best ways to support the channel. Subscribe if you haven't or if you're new turn notifications on we'll go straight into it can we get these guys off the foot of the table So this is the situation we find ourselves in at Mechelen. 14 games into the season, we have 8 points. We're 3 points from safety, uh, but then there's a further 5 points up to Beerscott. So we've got a, a difficult hill to climb, but hopefully we can get off the bottom of the table. Today we're playing our first two matches of the season. We're facing Ustenda, then after the international break we're away against Zolta. Okay, so we're going to try and play the same system we've been playing with Europa and with Tunbridge. I'm going to start it on balanced because we are kind of underdogs here. Ustenda are doing well and they're in third place. Now, I do think I want to start Alexandra Stanich up top as the target forward. He's only 19, but he's tall, he's got good heading and good jumping reach. And I think he could be like the future of this club. He hasn't started any, any games this season, but I'm going to give him a go from the off. Van der Maiden is going to be centre mid attack. He looks quite good for that role at 22. He's going to play alongside Scholstad, who's uh, playing uh, as a Mazzala at the moment, but it could be good as, um, I don't know, maybe a DLP defend. Um, but we'll go for a Mazzala for now, see if he can maybe get those, those um, positions out wide. Van der Burr, slightly deeper as a defensive midfielder. We could change him to a ball winner if we need to, but I'm going to stick with the DM for now. Left back, I've gone to Lucas Biker, the Dutch uh, man. He's got 14 tackling. He's going to be a defensive left back. You're not going to go no nonsense. On the right, we have our captain. We have Sandy Walsh. Uh, he's quite quick. He can play sort of wing back defend, but I've got him full back support. Neuster and Ayer are our only real centre backs. Neuster's decent. He's 25. And then we have uh, Ayer here, Ramsey Ayer, 34 years old. Um, so they're going to be our two centre-backs. Kuka is our first choice goalkeeper. So we have uh, managed to fulfil all the requirements for the squad rules. We have to have at least six players developed in Belgium, at least two trained in Belgium. I'm going to give Mavinga a spot on the bench, the 18-year-old American. I think this is what we'll go with for now. Uh, I'm sure this will change throughout, but I think this is probably a good team to start with. Let's see how we do. So here we go. First game with KV Mechelen. Uh, let's show everyone what we're all about, shall we? This is our first game in charge. I want to see what these guys have got to offer. We've only had a few training sessions. This is our first match. Let's see how we do. Okay, we are at home. Got a pretty decent attendance here. We have our 4-3-3. And we are setting up against Ustenda, who are playing uh, a 4-2-3-1 with Gray up top, the number 11. We're playing in the red and yellow stripes up against Ustenda in the white. And here is Gwe, the centre forward. And there's a chance for them to maybe get the ball in there. And it's Ambrose and it's a shot at goal. And it's saved quite comfortably by Kuga. First chance goes to Ustenda. Ambrose, we did get that uh, chance in the first sort of 15 minutes or so. And good possession spell here again by Ustenda. And a long ball finds Bias. And the cross is good. And Ambrose with a header. But that time it is in. And Thierry Ambrose makes it 1-0 to Estenda. 23 minutes gone. And uh, yeah, they're playing the possession game. And they've managed to get the goal to put them in front. So it was a Rocker Santos with the ball over the top. Finds Bias. And the cross was good. And the header was good by Ambrose. Marking wasn't amazing. Uh, and they go in front. I'm going to force them outside. Try and, you know, not have them getting too much in the middle. And see if that changes anything. I'm not going to make too many tweaks right now. I want to see how they do with this system. And if things go really, really bad, then I think we will change it. Uh, but going into the last five minutes, it's been a pretty tight game. But it hasn't been a great deal chance-wise. But we're going to half-time 1-0 down. This guy's a third in the table. So, you know, it's not the end of the world. We've still got a way to go. Uh, I'm going to say the pundits don't believe in us, but the fans do. That's worked quite well. You know, let's see if we can get something from this game. I, I'd be very happy with the point here. Uh, so let's go for another encourage to kick off the second half. We've had more shots than them. And possession is more or less equal. So, you know, if we can get forward, 
I'll be happy. We haven't really seen too much out wide. I might make a change out wide. Marabti has really not done anything. So I'm actually going to take him off. I'm going to go to uh, Troyori on the right-hand side. Uh, inverted winger attack. Uh, I could also maybe bring on someone else. Like Nicholas Storm, we can maybe bring off and go for Togi. I'll just make the one change for now. We're only an hour in, so we'll save that change. Uh, let's try and go a bit more positive, and let's fire up, I think. Here we go, Van Lebert. This is the first time we're see really seeing ourselves in possession here. Lucas Biker to Scholstad, the Norwegian, and here's Storm. He's tackled, but we've still got the ball, Van den Aden. And that's a good cross. And Troyore, he's just come on. Might match, create a chance here. Stalitz, Troyore, it's in. Mechelen won. Ustenda won. Amadou Troyore has been on the pitch for four minutes. And he's just equalised. This is what I wanted to see. Great ball for Troyore. And, you know, good pass with, between him and Stalitz. Gets the ball back. And it's a good finish. And it's 1-1. And we've just done a fire up. So that hasn't really worked out too well. So now the team are not looking too pleased. But that's good. And um, we've got a bit of momentum going our way now, though. Uh, except we're just giving the ball away. And that was a terrible sliding tackle. Oh, my God. And he's hit the post. We've gotten away with one there. Come on, we've got a goal now. We know we can score. I'm confident we can get another one now. I'm going to take off Nicholas Storm. We've now got 20 minutes to go. Togi's going to come on. And he's going to be, again, inverted winger. This time on support. And Biker will keep him deep. Schultzstag can fill in this space here. So, you know, hopefully he can sort of maybe overlap with Togi and do that. And, you know, if we can hold on for a point here, I'll be very happy with that. 76 minutes. Walsh here with a corner. It's cleared away by clock. And here's Ambrose now for Ustenda. Bias. Heal aware. Darpino goes long. Finds Gway. And Gway fires wide. So they seem to have a very similar sort of direct style to us. So, you know, that's all right. We can hopefully deal with it. Last 10 minutes. Ambrose, slide in tackle by Walsh. We still don't have the ball back though. Clock to Gway. And we should be able to deal with that easily. We do, Biker. Aya goes long. Stanich with the... Oh, that's going to be a second booking. It, it, oh, it's going to be. Red card for Alicia Obuzu. Clear goal scoring opportunity. We're, that, we're, got, we're against 10 men. Let's go attacking and go for the win here. I'm actually going to make our last change as well. Togi's been poor since coming on. But Schultzstad's going to come off. And Mavinga, the youngster, is going to come on. Um, I'll keep him as the Mez. And into injury time. Mavinga's got a free kick here with two minutes to go. The 18-year-old could have a chance to win the game for us here in the 93rd minute. Oh, and he almost did. He hit the woodwork. That would have been huge. And we're going to go in a full time. And it's a draw. I will absolutely take a draw. It's Mechelen 1, Ustenda 1, and Stanich uh, with the assist. Troy rate with the goal minutes after coming on. Satisfied with a point there. Very satisfied. So I will always take that. You know, for our first game in charge, I was I was actually very happy with that. Had a few poor performers out there. The wingers really didn't do too much. Uh, the defending was uh, not terrible, but not great. Okay, that's a good start to proceedings with Mechelen. That's a good point at home against a side that are, you know, seemingly chasing down a possible title. They're currently top. They started to do really well. Uh, we do have an international break now, so we'll be back in a couple of weeks. We've got Zolta away from home. So during the international break, I've got a bunch of staff members in. We now have some of the best coaching in the league. Uh, we have decent scouts. We have um, an extra physio or two. So I've managed to do that. Uh, so we now take on uh, Zolta away from home, 12th versus 18th. We are now three points from safety. Molenbeek did win their game just after us. Uh, Leuven also three points ahead of us. So we need to start picking up some wins soon. Zolta away from home. We're just trying to avoid defeat, I think. Given that Troyori scored off the bench last time, I'm going to reward him with a start today, replacing uh, Mrabti. Basilio is going to come off the bench because he got injured on international duty for Equatorial Guinea. So Dylan Dassey can go onto the bench. And I think that will pretty much do it. We played all right against Justenda. We got a draw, and I'm pleased with that. So I think we will keep everything else the same. Going to give a spell on the bench to Cyril Ngonga. 24-year-old can play anywhere along that sort of attacking midfield three. So he's going to be on the bench. Uh, and I think this is what we will go with. We're going to keep the back four the same because I don't think they were too bad. 
instructions wise we are going to straight off the bat force the opposition outside i'm going to go stay on feet when tackling as well hopefully we can actually win the ball when we tackle instead of sliding and not winning anything we've got shoot on site and early crosses on uh, we could just leave that blank but i think we'll we'll keep them on at the start and then see where we go from there uh, let's send the team out and let's see if we can get um a Good result here. I think avoid defeat away from home against Zolta. I'd be happy with that. I've gone for the fans team talk again. That didn't really seem to bother them too much. And even the individual shouts don't work too much. We've still got a lot of proving to do to these sides. Um, of course, our reputation is not quite at these guys' levels. We've come from a one-star club to a three-star club. So I think rep-wise, you know, those these coaches or these players uh, aren't really don't don't know who we are basically. And we've just come in and basically took charge of this side. Set piece um, is easily headed away. And here's Storm again. And we're starting this game well here. Ninth minute of the game. Storm with a cross. Stanich with a header. And it's a it's not a bad one. It's just over though. But it's a decent bit of football there. Corner kick with uh, Zolta. And that's headed away by Van Leberg. Kostovic will uh, look to bring this forward again here. Create some more chances. Gano with the header. It's a low header. But it's just wide of the, wide of the post. Throw in to Fabdera. Jean-Luc Dompe to Sissoko. And that shot has gone in. Abdallah Sissoko makes it 1-0 to Zolta. 26th minute. Um, the low strike beating the goalkeeper. And uh, the guys will be in our black today. Because, of course, these guys have got a bit of red on there. So what happened here then? Federer with the ball to Sissoko. He gets it back from Dompe. And, yeah, a low strike um, beats the keeper. Again, I think we're going to go positive and just try and get a bit further forward here. Because we the possession again isn't too bad. We've had a few shots, but we just haven't been been able to make that massive chance. We had a, a you know a, a little opportunity early on, but other than that, nothing really doing. Let's try fans again. Mm. Keep going. Come on. This was the position we were in in that previous game. We were one 0 down at half time, and we uh, we managed to get the equaliser from Troy Ray, But today. Hasn't really done too much. Stanich hasn't really had anything up top. Uh, let's turn these off and let's just uh, let them sort of have a bit of freedom in terms of the final third to maybe do what they want. Storm has been the best player on the pitch for us, so hopefully he can do more. Let's fire up as we go into the second half and let's see if we can uh, get an equalising goal here. I mean, a highlight would be nice. Stanich is just not getting involved at all. Let's get him off. Uh, let's put Schweiref on up top. Um... What could he be? Is he like an advanced forward? Um, yeah, we'll put him on as the advanced forward. See if he has any better luck. Scholstad's not been too good as this at Mitzala either. Let's make him DLP defend. And let's try that. He seems to like deep line playmaker on defend. Uh, demand more as well. That hasn't worked. We're, I think we are kind of underdogs here, so that hasn't really worked. So let's try and attack and see if we can get a goal here. But it looks like this one might be a defeat. It's 1-0, and they do have a corner here with Sirani. And that's headed in, and that's 2-0 Zolta. And that's game over. Used Van Aken, makes it 2-0 Zolta. And uh, we're going to be stuck at the bottom of the table on, well, nine points. Let's try and encourage them and get back into this game maybe. Walsh with a throw here, though. Gets it back from Troy already. This could be good. Come on, Walsh. Well, he's, he's just lost the ball. He's trying to win it back. C tackle him. <laughs> You're just running alongside him. What are you doing? Here's Cesarco and here's Garno. This could be 3 0 Zolta here. Vegan to Plentinks. Head forward. That's well won. But again, we haven't really cleared the danger. They're still coming forward. Shirani. Sermo. Garno. Three no, not 3 0. Poor finish. Dismets to Sasako, who got the assist on the first goal. Here's Van Aken, who scored the second. Vegan Black back to uh, over the top. And Gano, oh, good save there by Kuka. He's been gooding. He's, he's already been all right in goal. Hasn't made any massive mistakes. But outfield, we just haven't really been up to it today, unfortunately. Neuster heads that away. And Dismet will again look to bring this back in with the cross. That's headed away. And here's Van den Aden, and we don't get anything there. Right, changes. We've still got two subs to make, I think. Scholstad's been pretty bad, so let's bring on Mavinga again. And let's get um, Triore off for Ngonge. Corner here in the first minute of injury time. Storm with the header, and we do get a late goal. I think it's going to be um, a little too little too late. But it is 2-1 as we approach the uh, 92nd minute. I'm going to go very attacking just to see what happens. Storm with the header. And there might be something later on here, but I think we're just going to see the clock run down now. 
There you go, 94 minutes played, and it's 2-1. Um, they had a lot of shots. 26, 25 shots, 16 on target for Zolta. Um, and we dealt with as many as we could. Like Kuka was fine in goal. Um, Walsh, the captain, actually played well, and Vandenberg as well, uh, getting the assist for our goal there. But um, yeah, just not enough in terms of chance creation. I'm going to say I'm proud of your efforts, even if it wasn't to be. That's not a bad one. Scholstad didn't do too well. I think the Metzala for him might not be correct. So we'll have to try and find something else. Maybe for him out there or another um, another player out there. Maybe that some of the roles need changing around. But we're going to stick with the 4-3-3 DM for a bit longer and see how things go. Uh, and if it's you know a catastrophe, then we could change system. Uh, we have Club Bruges in back-to-back -back games next. We have them in the league and then in the cup. I'm not bothered about the cup, really. Um, we're already got to the stage we we're expected to get to we entered at round six and we got through that um before we got here so that's fine not bothered about the cup but we have uh club bruges and then circular bruges in the league then we have Anderlecht, who have just recently sacked their manager uh, and then mullenbeek might be an important one they're down you know the bottom of the table with us as our beer scott i think so i think we'll probably do one of those two games next episode i think beer scott are down with us um, yeah, they're on, tw they're on 20 points though. They're 11 ahead of us. We're still three from safety here. And Leuven still have a game to play as well. But some of these home games, like Circular Bridge at home, that's a game that really we need to win if we're going to have any chance of getting off the bottom of this table. I think it actually makes sense. If we do Beer Scott, that's on Boxing Day. And then there is a winter break. So I think we'll do Beer Scott next episode. And then after that, we do have a January transfer window. So we can look at maybe selling some players. I think there are quite a few that can be sold actually. Because our squad is quite large. And also, Ben Shai is a guy that's going to be out of contract. So some of these players, I think we're going to try and shift in January if we can. Try and free up some wages and maybe bring in some players. Because I think there's there's a lot of players here, but there's still some gaps in the team. I think we need a centre-back because um, we only really have two. Anyway, that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, drop a like down below and leave comments. And uh, subscribe if you haven't or if you're new. Turn notifications on. Next episode, uh, Beer Scott is going to be Boxing Day. Our last game before our winter break. And hopefully we can uh, get um, at least one win off camera. Circular Bridge and Monambique at home are games that I think we need to win if we want to try and stay up. I think those are the two games coming up that hopefully we can get some sort of result. And if we can win one of those two games, then I'll be happy. You know, it's still very early days here. So, you know, we've still got a lot of work to do to try and stay up. Still plenty of games to go as well. So hopefully we can uh, get some results along the way and try and get off the bottom of the table. But next time, Beer Scott, for now, thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.